So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child? How can we help him get rid of these leftovers from childish behavior? Motherfuckers and their pointy shoes are going at it. He kicked me in the face. <laughs> Are we, are we going? We're back in time. We're back, guys. Meathead <laughs> on Mushrooms. <laughs> Episode 3. Yes. Featuring Kevin Swish. The Canadian. One of the, the only Canadian. black friends I have. And Canadian. And he's Canadian. And I'm Canadian. Alec. Hey, guys. <laughs> Alec? Just <laughs> Alec. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm here stuff. So, this is the plan. This is the second. Nobody's sponsoring this show. Well, because the last time I ch- I posted two videos, no, I posted one video, and um, there's there was only two views. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we're not we're not hey, super man. we're not. That's two people. Let, hey, that we don't know. You got us. It starts with two. Yeah, man. You think you just so, come and get a hundred thousand yeah. subscribers? You think it's so day day? easy? It's where's your hundred thousand subscribers, Kevin? Mr. Rapper man. <laughs> And we're American. God damn it. Anyway, oh, wow. so we have That's two views. Which is pretty good. Which That's I'm happy with. <laughs> so obviously nobody wants to sponsor our shit yet. So yet. I'm just going to start sponsoring people for, for free, us until they for start. nothing. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm, I'm just going to ask if you work for the company, you should you should show your boss this. Yeah. And be, show him the video and uh, hit us up at Meathead on Mushrooms. Podcast at gmail.com. At gmail. gmail. <sighs> Fuck. We're working on it. Hit it uh, go on our Twitter. Meatheads on mushrooms at twitter.com. <sighs> Whatever. It still doesn't feel right. All right. Anyway, VUCA. I picked this up because I wasn't sure if I wanted a coffee because it was morning. You know, early morning, I need a coffee. Like eight. Fuck anything before eight. Anything before 10. Need a coffee. Evenings. I, I, I tend to like, you know what I like, Kev? The excess. I like an excess energy drink because it gives me just what I want really fast and then it goes away and I can go to bed. But like right now, it's like midday. I'm like in between coffee and I'm not it's a weird excess. Place to be. It's, it's a, a weird, weird place, place to be. Thing. It's like, so what do, do I do? want this bitter wake up flavor? Do I want this like you want a carbonated sweet jolt? Thing. I want this. This is good. What is this? It's called VUCA. How do you spell it? VUCA. Ener- V U K A. Okay. Intelligent energy. This is a workout. So workout I mean, formula? good for workouts or just you know, it does taste working out your good. consciousness, working out cognitive, your brain, cognitive function, like we're doing right now, right now, with Kevin, with Kevin. Sorry with for yelling into the microphone a little bit. <laughs> no apologies. It's only the third episode. Whatever. I don't know what working I'm doing. On it. Okay. On it. So, Angelo. Uh, this is, I want. <laughs> I want everybody. Thank you, Angelo. Go, go so gentle. Go I tell want, Vuka. I want, I want you to watch my face right here. Are you watching? Mmm. God damn. That is some is, good shit. Is it aggressively good? Mm. Drink all right, that. All right. Yep. Drink that. Mmm. <laughs> ah. It's good. It's is good. It? It's good. These guys aren't being paid. Neither am I. So, no, Vuka, listen, send me an email. Seriously, I'm running out of money. <laughs> this, place ain't, this place isn't free. Angelo is not cheap. My girlfriend doesn't realize how much money I've spent on podcasts yet. <laughs> Pretty bad. And we only but, have two views. But when I file my taxes, it's going to show. It's going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and it is taxed. And I'm going to get kicked in the Angelo's balls. Okay. All right? Yeah. So, send me some money, please. Please. I'll keep doing this. I mean, uh, I, so if you're listening out there, all two of you, if you go <laughs> on Twitter and you, te- and you at VUCA, you let them know where you found out about this. Hashtag. Mm-hmm. Seriously. And someone. T- and, and tag us in it. Anyone. At Meathead and Mushrooms. Okay. That's our sponsor. Okay. Thank you. Neat. There are, by the way, I don't even know if that's legal to make somebody your sponsor without like <laughs> they are. letting them know. Whatever. Free no stuff. choice. So uh, just letting you know, they're not really our sponsor. But they could be. But 
one day. Possibility. Okay. Think of it. Kevin. Kevin. Yes. Kevin. Kevin Swish. One of my favorite black people because I understand you very well. Oh, I understand how you talk. I Is that racist? That. Oh, a little bit. That was no, it's not racist. Because no, mm, that's the truth. There's so many Look, black people who, me, who are like, yeah, man, not, what's good, man? I'm, man, what's good, man? That's just, we actually were talking about this in linguistics the other day. Okay. And that, it's not, uh, we're talking about how Bill Cosby sees that as, as, a, uh, as a level of education. So he, if people who talk like that, he doesn't see it as their own culture or uh, language. He's like, oh, they're just dumb. <laughs> I'm talking about if that's Cosby. true or not. This is Cosby. Bill Cosby, the African American stand up comedian. <laughs> for those of I'm you who don't know, white. Don't. holy shit. No, not for Dude, you. Bill, Bill Cosby's our boy. This isn't about you. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's our show. Like that brought that brought your that, show. That, that brought African Americans <laughs> into our living room for the first times ever. Like I'm not kidding. Like if you're a white guy that was raised in Iowa, there's no black people there. Or West it's not Virginia. your fault. Or West Virginia. We had one black person <laughs> in, in your high hometown? school. No, in the high, at the entire sixteen hundred people high school. One. There's one black person. God, okay. That must have been now realize, like they don't. They're, all these white people aren't racist just because there's no black people. They're just they, not they educated just don't on know. the culture. <laughs> so like, literally, for a lot of people, like media is the only thing that gets in. So for people like me, when I was a kid, the Cosbys were my first black friends. I, th- it's all I knew. Oh, okay. There weren't any b- actual valid. black That's people valid. for me to like yeah. talk to. You literally couldn't get to go know, somewhere because there weren't any. Maybe a jazz club. <laughs> I'm not, you know what I mean? So. Don't you janitors. tell me about the Cosby son, because that's my family. <laughs> that's my, that's my what, people. What was, what was the one black kid's name? Theo. Theo. Yeah. So like from the Cosby's. Did Theo. You, Theo. He was the oldest son. <laughs> no, I mean at, no, at your school. In your school. Oh, Jerome. Yeah, it was something like that. It was Tyrone. Tyrone. Was it really? Yeah. It was Tyrone. Of course. Were you friends with Tyrone? Of course. No. Was, was, he, was he just not no. a nice guy? <laughs> well, I'm, we got right, two years older than I'm making. A few assumptions to be okay to be completely legal. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go to this high school. This was my brother's high school. I went to a private boarding school oh. that had perfectly divided racial diversity. Like it was like the perfect version of every fucking race in the world. It was like a goddamn high school United Nations. Weird. You know what I mean? Like everyone <laughs> spoke in Western Virginia. Like yeah, no, this was in Pennsylvania. I was shipped away. To a boarding what? school. What? We never have talked about this. You got shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I went, Cargo. I went, what I went the to a, fuck? I went to talk. A, I went to a private boarding school when I was in high school. I went there for <laughs> football reasons, though. It, it was uh, because of sports. It wasn't because like you thought I like got arrested or no, some shit. No, I thought like your parents were like, just like, you know what? I'm Get done the with fuck them. out. Oh no. Send him away from me. No, the, my parents were really upset that I went. Oh. Yeah, they missed me, man. Weird. I mean, I didn't. I, I moved away when I was like sixteen. Four years. Oh. Yeah. That's so like, nice. I just. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Kids go to college when they're eighteen. I just got a two-year head start. All right. Okay. It was cool, but like, the racial diversity there was like. Was it annoying? To it you was. Cher- they were cherry picking because they go around the planet and they pick like the perfect two version of everybody. Uh. Like the you know there were like two Indian kids and they had spoke perfect english and like went to cambridge and like you know what i mean it was just <laughs> so they pick like the saudi arabians of yeah. just perfect team the, it's like the prometheus you, of each if race you saw a perfect gap catalog they were all in there they were all in there so <laughs> all Every, like an international in gap good poses too always smiling yeah so the whitewashed versions mm-hmm. of those. yes of every single race yes oh man yes nice, nice, nice. and that's how i learned about race that's why I like you, Kev. Kev. Because you fit perfectly. <laughs> <It's tiny. laughs> I fit. This is the whitest yo. guy I know. Yo, I can be hood, Kev. son. Kevin, Kev. you're from Canada, bro. You literally can't be hood. I'm sorry. Yo, tell, yo, I, tell you know, everybody. Y'all don't even know. So you're from the nicest country. Toronto. You know what? It's so nice. Go to... Uh, you're the nicest person I know. Oh, you're thank the, you. You got a great smile. You're never angry. Well... You're tell, long, you're long <laughs> board. That's you. not true. Okay. Tell everybody what, what Dan's nickname for you is. Big Red. <laughs> it Why makes is it me big? laugh. Big Red. Every time. Why is it Big Red? It's a long story. We won't get into it. Why not? We're on a two-hour podcast That's right the now. whole point of That's what we do. That's the whole point of what we're it's, doing, bro. It's, it's, we won't get into it. What do you mean? I'm not ready for the world to know yet. Sorry, dude. That's Sorry. why we invited you on. You signed the contract. Start talking. Top yeah, you signed the contract. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, how do I say this? You just say it with words. That's how you say everything. All right. I Dan happened to see me um, in the back, you know, changing my shirt, and I have. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> it's already one of my nipples are a little discolored, and what? <laughs> <laughs> it's red. The right one's red. No. Yeah, 
It's red. Get the fuck out. Can it's we, red. Can we see? No. <laughs> no. I'm not putting my nipple wait, on display. Wait, 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 wait. Only two people will see I this. honestly believe I'm being fucked with. No. My nipple is red. That's why Kev... <laughs> <laughs> That's why Dan's nickname for you is Big Red. I have a red nipple. I thought it was Dude, because you were a Canadian. You gotta whip what? your jet out, bro. <laughs> I almost don't believe you. Why no. we, wait, I thought because of his shirt. Cause like, don't, I don't want to see his tit. <laughs> Cause like uh, but I believe flag. him. He looks... Uh, you, uh, okay. I'm sufficiently embarrassed. So That's awesome. You know this is forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a tattoo. So when you become it's a like famous rapper one day... It's like us a tattoo. <laughs> People will see this. It's awesome. No, it's bl- the best thing that can ever happen to you. Seriously. This shit's like therapy. Thank you. I, I tell really everybody, <laughs> coming on the show <sighs> makes for the best day for the rest of the day. Yeah. Because you, you've gotten it's a yourself mental workout. out of you of yourself and you've you've expressed it out publicly and and there's something yeah. liberating <laughs> about doing that you know i would agree and and for the rest of the day i feel very open yeah. i feel very free um great. it's great i feel like it's easier to converse with people i feel um the best version of myself. It's That's why this is this is one of my new favorite it's things like to do. It's like a dump of happy chemicals. Well, <laughs> so for the rest well, of the days, you're like, just like, for the rest yeah, of it is. it's like oxytocin overload, guys. Let's just talk to people. Isn't it weird that people have to go to a stranger to do this and then pay them a yeah. lot of money? Yeah, man. Like, why can't we do this with everybody? Well, yeah, why don't, I don't people even, do this? So everyone knows, I've never hung out with Kevin, really. First time. But we're friends already. We're friends. Yeah. We're, I feel it. Friendship. Big Red. We're, we're homies. <laughs> Big Red. Uh, that's so. right. You should but, make a song about it. But that. it's true, right? Like, uh, people don't want to talk about stuff. They're, no. Or they're like, I can't talk about this because right. I can't let anyone know it. Why not? But it's like, that's you. Yeah, man. Why are you so afraid of you? Like, what? what's so... What do you have to hide? Who's the judge? Like, you, you're perfect. We're, we're we're not robots. You know that, right? Which like, makes like us awesome. yeah. We're I like to say we're all cars with a different make and model, mm. right? So we're all cars. We're all people. But like we we have a different we're a different brand. Each one of us, kind of, you know. That was so, so philosophical. I'm fucking yeah. philosophical. Philosoph- <laughs> philosophical. 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 That's even what you said is even. It's but even, it's true, it's right? So so it's almost like we're all. Yeah. Cars with a different make and model, but everybody's trying to be a Ford. Yeah, fuck that shit. And it's like, fuck what? Ford. They, they're Ford's they're covering their shit up. They're like, you know, they're they're reshaping their exterior. They're putting on fake, Thanks, fake symbols, and they're they're pretending yeah. that they're that so they're not so they can form so they can all fit in a group. And and if you're in a group, you're safe, Maybe. right? Yeah. And that's like mm. that's the safer place to be. But when you express who you f- it, you really are yeah. you aren't hiding that anymore so like there's a bit of anxiety that comes with like fitting in a group knowing you're not exactly yeah. that group because you're like i hope i don't get fi- found out yeah. i don't want you, to you know, get kind of worried like one's fish like, out of the school oh, if i if i if they found out about me what if they <laughs> kick me out of the group you know if i was if i wasn't in the group fuck i'd be fucked i'd be by myself and like yeah. that's a normal human thought because if we were outside the group like a uh, hundred thousand years ago we were fucked Dead. like that might have been the worst Probably thing why. that could ever <laughs> happen to you right so <laughs> yeah being by yourself, oh, with fucking being tigers by yourself in a fucking loincloth out Dude, in the <laughs> you know what you have a stick good yeah. luck <laughs> fucking stick. tug tug hope you live <laughs> good luck trying to breed asshole you're by yourself in the fucking sahara and god forbid you run into a fucking Sarabian tiger of some sorts <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> so, so you yeah. Yeah. a demon with claws bigger than your fucking shin bone is now coming after you good luck bro seriously Come so you me. can't tell me that that shit is not ingrained in our brain yeah like that shit is in is in our there. dna you so know, so here's the cool thing though when you break out as yourself, yeah. your own make a model, like within the yeah. group, and you're like, holy shit! It gets rid- I'm still in the group. It gets rid of holy fear. shit. Yeah, it exactly. removes fear. And then you now get you to can... be so, yourself. It's the best. It's ever. fucking awesome. We Kevin t- has a red nipple. Yeah, I, I like. I, I, I have. We grew up with religious zealots. <laughs> we grew up in crazy we churches. Up, we really did. Re- religious zealots. <laughs> I didn't jerk off till I was 15. Yeah. We talked about. This. I was a Mormon. What? Yeah. Oh, this is old news. Don't worry about it. Dude, you missed a lot in the last. Listen to the first episode. Um, like I, we're fucking, we yeah. got our own weird histories. Yeah. But the more wow. you just kind of right. like, yeah. Don't worry, that purple ex- nipple isn't anything. The more you weird. accept like red, yeah, dude, I said purple. Not, it's My actually bad. nothing. It's red. Okay. My bad. Um, it looks like this actually. This Get little, the fuck out of here. Little... <laughs> isn't that big too? <laughs> it's like a, it's like a little. It's like a uh, perfect nipple. It's a fucking. So or... Awesome. If you record a music video, that better be like the emphasis of the song. Red dip. Just dip them. <laughs> 
I can't. <laughs> I need to stop talking. It's like a what's it? Rudolph nose, man. It's embarrassing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a girl made a comment about it? Like, what the fuck? I never take my shirt off. Really? really? No. You know, what? I would gloat the shit out of that. Dude. Nah, dude, I got picked on so much. And you're in really good shape. Yeah, yeah it's decent. You hoist. Kevin's in really good shape. Don't, Don't get it wrong. He's not modest. Like, he's being yeah, humble. He's built. But you're afraid to take your shirt off. See, this is this is the shit I'm talking about. This is why when you do a podcast, everybody should do a podcast. Yeah. Because you fucking smear Remove your those. real self yeah. out yeah. to the world, and it's you're like, great. this is it. And the rest of the world goes, me. Yeah, because yeah, you know <laughs> what? Because right, cool. it doesn't like, cool, fucking man. matter. No one it doesn't fuck. fucking matter, but we give it all this value. Angelo, what's a weird thing you got? Dude, don't. It, it fucks up the therapy. Why when you fuck it up? <laughs> <laughs> Tell hey, us your secrets. You. Tell me now. <laughs> Oh, Fine. the point is that you like do it in this comfortable great. way when you want no, to. I'm <laughs> sweating. Yeah, great. It's kind of hot. Fucked up. Wait, I'm fucked up. You're good. Now you, you just you want some you want some hookah? <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Oh, okay. Here, take it. Say hookah. No, it's really Vuka. Cool. It's like, so so. What is that, man? Like, what is that? Everybody having to to fit in. Satan. And like, you ever? This is something I was I was noticing earlier. You ever not say God bless you? Like when someone sneezes. Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, because I wasn't yeah. allowed to being Jehovah's Witness. What? You grew up Jehovah's wait, Witness? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they're not cool with that. What? Yeah, they're not cool with that. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. No, why? Yeah. Because I... it's like, don't, don't, you don't need to bring the Lord into this for it for a sneeze. It's ridiculous. Blasphemous. Because there's nothing, because you know what comes from? It comes from like people a long time ago. Like they felt when you sneezed for whatever reason, you had a potential of losing your soul. Like that's where that comes from. Yeah, some, some weird old fucking okay. 18th century uh, shit. How do you know that? History. I read it. That's not. No, I don't know. Someone I've told no, me it once, and I took it as fact. And you're like, "Well, that must be." I've heard yeah, that before. Be oh, well, I've really heard, heard it too. Some definitely it's must fact, be true now, bro. Obviously, dude. Two how heard long it. ago were we talking about that? They were worried about your soul coming out of your body. Hey, man, a hundred years ago, we couldn't fly. Yo, there's, <laughs> there's still like tribes in Africa who don't let you take pictures because they feel like it snatched a man's soul. That's a hundred percent true. Thank you, Kevin. So, so it's still around. Boom. Oops. It's ruining things, man. First Kevin's day of the show. It's the mess. Where were we? Anyway. The removal of fear. No. The yeah, removal. yeah. So like the not of like fear. not <laughs> not saying God bless you. Not yeah. holding doors for people. Oh that I always hold doors. But that's I always, just nice, I, it's I, a nice I, thing to do though. I always well, hold I don't doors. Fucking slam doors, but God, it's the most awkward thing for me. Why? Really? Doors. Doors are the. I fuck them up all the time. <laughs> How do you. I, like, are you holding I, them open where they're like way too far away? What'll happen is like. That's angry. awkward. Like, they're that like, come on, man. Now I gotta rush. Like, I'll be first and then I'll like hold it. I'll let them go first. But then like the next door is like the other way. So somehow I end up holding that door too. And then they feel awkward because they're like, you just like, well, Why you, you, you open two doors for me in a row. But is, is and then a, I'm like I don't like I didn't do it because like I'm trying to be overly nice. I just it, like it's set up it just weird. You know what I'm talking about, I do, right? And it's hilarious. And it fucking sucks. <laughs> and I hate it. And so ever since like I realized how much I hate it, I just walk through doors. Like if I'm going through, <laughs> if I if I'm going through, I just fucking open and go through. I like I don't look behind me. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's and, like I'm done now. But but I am people done. Get really fucking pissed. Yeah, yeah dude, because it's rude. <laughs> it's, it's a rude, rude, rude thing to do. It's not a rude thing to do. You're avoiding. A you open really... the door and you just scoot through it so no one else can get through it. Right. Cause, <laughs> cause that's I just, rude. I I just open it up for me to get in it. Like do you open it to the full open, open or just enough for you, you just, like, to get by? Are you just like slithering in and it closes on them and then you go? Is that what's going on? Well, yeah, because uh, I opened it, and then they open it. So you're consciously thinking, I'm not going to open this door. No, 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 anybody. not at all. I, I'm thinking, I'm just going to go through the door. Okay. That's it. I'm not, like, mad at the person behind them. I, I don't look to see if there's anybody behind me. I figure 80% of the time, there's probably not anybody behind me, right? So no, I don't wrong. understand. We <laughs> live in New York City, man. Yes. There's always so behind you. Unless you're taking the elevator by yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? There's going to be someone behind you. Now I feel like a complete asshole. Yeah, you and are. you should. <laughs> am I? No, but you did something. I, I am though. It is just rude. No, you are. Okay, an asshole. but this—I just, I just find those things. I find those things like kind of weird. Like what? It's, it's a weird thing we just got to do, man. 
Yeah. Wait, what is that about like part Mel? of living in a group? It's, yeah, it is. Do you open the door for Mel? Mm. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. You know what? I didn't for like a year. Like a year. Did she say something? We first, oh. She said something. Did she say fights. something? Of course. We've had big fights over that one. Oh. Because it was my habit. Like, what I am what I was telling you about the door thing, like, that's the, that's what, I arrived to that, like, 15 years ago. Oh, so, like, I just you. decided, like, this is weird, and it's always awkward, and I'm not going to do this anymore. So I just stopped doing it, and it just, like, got into me. And then, like, Mel was the one that made me aware initially, and I guess I hold it more often now. I do. You need to work it, on You know that. what? It depends what kind of day I'm having. If I'm having a shitty day, I fucking, I gotta fuck you. <laughs> but like I, if it, I, I, you I know a day like That's today honesty. that I the day like today that I, I do a podcast I'm gonna get a great workout in after this I don't have another client till seven I'm gonna drink a fucking protein kale smoothie I'm gonna have a great dump this is gonna be the best day ever it's gonna be a really good day all right I might meditate eh, I'm going to a poetry reading after this. <laughs> you're going to poetry reading it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome oh poetry so, yeah it's day like today poetry. I'm gonna be poetry flo- reading? I'm gonna be floating. Yeah, and I'm gonna fucking. Plus, we got Vuka in us, so that's <laughs> always. So you're always ready to go. 20, always, 25. it's intelligent. Yeah, twenty five dollars per mention. Vuka. Um, Vuka for the working man. So, Kev. Yes. Kev, what do you? You know what's funny? What's What's funny? Please tell me. Enlighten we me. We talk what's more funny? than our guests. Is that what's funny? You're Canadian. That's Is that funny? I never see. It really. Here's is. the thing: people always crack like Canadian jokes, and. It hurts that our mayor is now a crackhead. Toronto's mayor is a crackhead. God, it's awesome, dude. And that guy's Chris Farley. Basically, yes. It's awesome. Yeah, and that's all anyone wants to talk about. And Canada is on the map because of all the bad things. Bad, but everyone Whoa. loves you guys because you're so nice. But no, that's the one bad thing that's ever happened to Canada, and it's not even a bad thing. People still like them. But it's, I feel like Americans just make fun of it. Just, just like, see, here's the thing. Canada's that's so what great. We get. That's We're, what we get for not conquering your yeah, ass. We make we make fun of you guys because you're better than us. <laughs> exactly. So we, no, no, we, no, no, yes. No, 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 no. It's no, so no. nice. No, 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 no. That is not what's going on. You don't think it's going on? You think that's what's going on? That, I think people are a bit jealous. That they're so nice that we're like, oh, just let them be. Like, no, I think if they're so nice that we're like, <laughs> fuck them. We <laughs> fuck those goddamn happy assholes in their fucking hats. <laughs> you know, well, see, that's what we see. <laughs> see, everyone thinks thing. these random things that happen. Okay. okay. How do you see the relationship between the U.S. and Canada? Yeah. It's all right. Well, I feel it's like you guys think you're the big brother, and you guys think you're better than us and push us around. But it's not really. If you think about it, look at the map. We're actually on top, and we're a bigger landmass. God damn it, Kevin! You Canada's just, you second... just figured us <laughs> out. <laughs> Canada's the second largest landmass in the world. Isn't like most of your country the Arctic? Wait. Ah, uh, yeah. When you go up to none of it and like the Yukon, it's uninhabitable. Like most of it. <laughs> but it's okay. Still cool. The Great. Okay. Largest. Just making sure. I want to go back to the part where we're on top. Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> we're on top of a round world. We're spinning through the infinite. Yeah, dude. It's like are, when you look at no the map, you do top. realize we're like a there's top. There's a top, buddy. There forever. isn't a top. If I mean, you look at the map of, on a piece of paper, on a flat piece are you of equating? Paper? Yes. The universe in a speck that spins around at 3,000 miles an hour to a piece of paper. Exactly. It's the little wins that count. You know? Never also, mind. Fuck you know what? Canada. The little wins. You know what I don't <laughs> like true. about the States, though? You okay. guys don't have marijuana? No, you guys have. Enough of that. You guys don't have bagged milk in Canada? 2%. Two, two the milk is bagged. It's in a bag. Why would you do that? Cartons. Why would you do that? Why would you We bag, bag wine. Like, yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's plastic. Wait, is, it's, is, a, it's a plastic, plastic bag. I don't want well, plastic in my. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Angel. So aggressive. rude. I don't. Why would you want like, plastic? Like you there's you estrogen milk. chemicals in there, man. No, but it's like that's why you guys are all soft. <laughs> You're getting fucking estrogen in your goddamn milk, and you grow up pansies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's like all right. You know those little pitchers? It's like you have a little baggie, and then you <laughs> snip the thing, and you put it in the pitcher, and you pour it out. No wasting of. How do you close it? It's in a it's in a pitcher, so it's like you have to put it from a bag to a pitcher. Can I it's interject? Too much work. Oh my god! You've seen this. It's 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 box wine. Uh, <laughs> you ever had box wine? It comes in a bag in a box. Do you have like a? a I've never had. Box that's what he's talking about. Okay, that's weird. Why did you guys decide to do that? I don't. Know. <laughs> also, hold on. Who like? Do you like watch basketball? Canadian no, like invented that. basketball. Actually, I don't want. So that. there you go. 
So really? LeBron, thank you. Wait, I'm not you, a fan. You're thanking us. That was Canadian. The guy, Joe Naismith. Nasmith. I don't remember his name, but the guy. I, <laughs> I just was. know. Okay. Really? Joe, okay. He invented basketball. I somehow trust Angelo to just he's be right. Great. Like when he, well, when he has the internet. Like I believe him. Them. He looked at me. He's like, "Yep." He's so like, smart. You him. It's, it's like glasses. instantly. I'm like, "Yep." He's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> probably Canadian. Angelo looked. I mean, he also looks convinced. Pamela Anderson, um, Canadian. So okay. He's not thinking. This is uh, here's a weird thing. Go. Canada is a country, right? What part of Canada are you from again? Toronto. Okay. Alec, let me finish. Sorry. The medicine talking. Now, medicine by VUCA. <laughs> so Canada, Canada and Mexico are quite different. There are, you know, there are only two borders. Mexico, we got in a war with. We lost. They held their own, and they kept their own country. Canada somehow like just snuck by, and we were just like, we yeah. Be. Well, we were cool. being taken well, we over by the British. So why? They, well, we invaded Mexico. You remember that, right? Yeah, cause, yeah. But why didn't we invade Canada? Like, Why weren't we like, we it want run, it? It was run by clearly, France. It was run by France. Manifest though. Destiny. Pushed us like in all directions, right? We yeah. went to conquer the the this whole continent because it was a it was God's will. We went through Mexico, right? And they won in some war, and they kept their Canada. There's never a war. Well, it's what it's, happened? But it was run by why France were, and England. Why so. were the the cunts of that generation that fucking messed with Mexico? Why were they just cool with Canada keeping theirs? Because that would cause war with Europe. Oh, yeah. Because it was ran by right. France and England. Yeah, well, if you were to get in there, so it's that's where nickel. you that's where you get it. That's why you're protected. You get your own country because you guys aligned with with the the big guns. Yeah. And do you still do you still love the queen? You know what? Let's not talk about the queen. Really? You don't like the queen? Yeah, let's not talk about the queen. Isn't she like your leader technically, like legally? Is that what happens? Let's not talk. About like I was reading somewhere, if the queen, this could be totally wrong. It was on Wikipedia, but I read it. <laughs> if the queen apparently steps foot in Canada. She now has to be leader of Canada and doesn't go back to England. <gasps> I was reading that. Like some weird, dumb sovereign law. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I really me, don't. I would love to be wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. There's a bunch of weird, like, sovereign. But like, you guys technically are, like, are run mm-hmm. by the Queen, though, right? Yes, kind of. So. In Australia, too? I don't, I don't know, know how that works. I can't speak on Australia. How much time do we have left? Plenty. Not in the show, but I mean, like, life <laughs> to have fucking kings and queens. Like, like, <laughs> like so ridiculous. Dictating. I mean, really, That's, think about it. Like, so we have monarchs, though. Like, it's not. It's, it's in it's England, a joke. A world power, a it's fucking a, monarch, <laughs> yeah. and they're not even English. They're fucking German. That is <laughs> German. Did you know that? Their lineage comes from Germany. <laughs> so then, it how, doesn't even make sense. I mean, F- doesn't whole, it feel? Is he like, looking up all I, the Canadian overdone. actors? I hope so. The whole idea. Yes. To have one person running a fucking country when we have the internet, global information is, we, but we have a president too. We have a king. We have a president. We have a king, and we voted for it. It's so so. We're just as dumb. In fact, we're dumber because we had an option. <laughs> I just think it's funny, more funny that it's an actual. There's a lineage. Ugh. It's still there. Like the the only reason the queen's the queen because she blood. was born into it. Yeah, she did nothing. No. <laughs> Who knows how smart she's probably she's dumb as anything. fuck. She oh, could be. God. We don't actually. Look, we don't like, have a let's queen. Let's say. Canada let's say you make the Prime queen. Minister. You you take all, away all her money. Yeah. All her stuff. You give her five hundred bucks, in downtown L. A. <laughs> and you're like, good luck. She's gonna get robbed Go in ahead. two minutes. What skills does the queen possess? None. Do you think she went to college? She lang. <laughs> Probably. Like, do you think she, like, no. took woodworking and, like, yeah, learned some no, shit? She, she probably learned some shit. I mean, she probably had t- private tutors. She's probably, like, learned, you know? I, I would feel like but, a, a child of a f- monarch would just be so spoiled. You like, would think, why? Why would I do You anything? would think she I wouldn't know how to do a lot of things. I would hope so. Jeez. I would like to see that. Quick question. Yeah. What time is it? It's up there in the top right, 11.28. Kev's got to leave. Got work. What time? 12. Ugh. So I'll leave in, like, Eh, twenty minutes. It's really close. You know, do I don't you have wanna... anything you have to say? Yeah, you so have to get really out use... to the world. What do you um, do? I actually do have a confession to make. Mm. What is it? <laughs> is it worse than the red nipple? <laughs> Are you gonna say anything? The red nipple story isn't true. Oh, oh man! God damn it! I was embarrassed. I knew it. I was embarrassed. About what? I was embarrassed that you didn't have a good story. No. At least you came clean. Yeah. You know what? I felt because then we, that would have ruined about. my entire exactly. fucking rant. If if, <laughs> if we would have found that out, not on the oh, phone, would have been so hurt. Angela, you can talk. <laughs> we gotta see it. 
Yeah. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, yeah. So now you think he actually? Oh no. Yeah. I'll be so, I'll completely it. honest, and this is gonna this is gonna ruin everything. What is? But I'm. I'm, I'm or is I'm, it gonna make everything better? I'm yeah. willing to do this on your show, this especially because you guys only have two views so far, so no one's really gonna know. I can't wait till the day that this has 30. a million <laughs> yeah, views. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't for this wait. This fucking asshole. It is. <laughs> okay. Dan. Somehow. Dan Trink. Dan Trink. Found out my real last name. Oh. I knew it wasn't his last name. Oh. I called it. My real last name. Oh, that's right. Your name isn't your name. So, yeah, because you found out. I found out, too. I called it. I fucking and I no about three this. people in this entire <laughs> like, world, though. No. What's what's Plus that? the two viewers from On the last you? time. What's the last name? Dude, dump it. Let's hear. What's the last name? What's your real name? My birth name, last name is Redfield. <laughs> so that's... No, but nobody knows. For I knew the, that. I for, just forgot. For 20... I just forgot what it was. For all my years, everyone literally but, thinks... But isn't that funny? Like I'm how, Redfield from now on. How much I don't care. <laughs> yeah, good. like, it's so much that I don't care. I totally forgot <laughs> that that yeah, was actually your good. name. So, like, what are you so scared of, man? Yeah, like, whatever, pe- whatever you want people that. to call you is what they're going to call you. Yeah. <laughs> Like you don't have to, you don't have nothing to hide. I just feel like people are just gonna be like, "Oh, that's no, your name, your last no," name. but nobody knows. You look, dude. I think it's dumb that your parents got to name you in the first place. Exactly. Like, why the fuck ha- the, don't we get to pick our own names? Like, yeah, it's right? gonna be with us forever. It's gonna be with them for like what eighteen years. I fucking love it. You do. But like, I, I love it because I had to love it. Sure. Like, that? I I would have loved to been able to pick my name. That would have been great. But. You know, it's either it's, with this. I it's, either, like it's either Trondor, love though. it. I'm glad Trondor. Can you imagine, like at 16, you no, cannot pick you, your name. But, but like, it's a Trondor. big thing. Like, you know why you can't Trondor. get a tattoo World before Warcraft you're 18? Name. Yeah, because you're not fucking ready to make that decision. But like, I think people should probably have a name till they're 18, and I think they should probably get to pick their own name after that. Because yeah. they're grown ups, they can go to war, they can have a drink, they can get a tattoo, and they should <clears> be able to get called whatever it is that they <clears> want to get called. And I think a lot of people will keep their own name. I don't think they would really change it. But if the people that wanted to change it, that felt that they had a different, anyway? they Legally. should be able to fucking do like, it. Do no, you now, can. Though. For you a can. fee. For a fee. How much did it cost you? But it's dumb. <laughs> I haven't legally it's changed it yet. Oh, okay. You should be so this able... like for the rap career? No, so this has nothing to do with that. No. If you have a driver's license, at your driver's license... Like test or what you should be able to pick whatever name you want on that thing, and it should be your responsibility to make sure that you list all your aliases and all that bullshit and change your other name. But like, you should be able to pick your name, don't think, you think? I can, you can though. I guess it does cost. Money. You can. It's a pain in the ass. Well, you do because you got to change your It should be more culturally. Like what, what we're pointing out is like that was a fucking. Jeff didn't want to do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he that thought it. He thought it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> I was lied to. I thought it mattered. He thinks that like people care. Now people are gonna hate you. They really don't. <laughs> well, people but hate me. you think they do, and that's so what gives it, it all this power in your life or whatever. Yeah, man. You know, it's fucking hilarious. Your last name was Redfield. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you might be the only black person Dude, wait, ever Redfield? with the name Redfield. What does that even mean? Redfield. Wait, wait, but I your fu- first name's different too, right? Because no, yeah, true. that's not true. Mm. Are you lying right now? That's not true. I don't believe you. Not true. Not true. Is it Kenneth? <laughs> it's fucking Kenneth. I, have, I already know the answer. Look, I'm gonna give you this opportunity to that like true? to be to to. Is that true? Come on, Redfield. I'm all a lie. You are. I'm just a lie. Until you no, until you tell the truth. I'm not lie. And then you won't be, and then you'll feel great. So okay. I'll give you this chance. Yeah, if you don't want to take it, take a sip out of your you delicious. Keep, take it. You can keep it. Let me take a sip. Out okay. of your delicious vodka. Okay. This is gonna intelligent right. energy drink. What if he became a really successful rapper with so. the name Red? I feel like he would have a better chance with Redfield. All right, people love my, my like full Swiss name. Though. My full Swish name sounds is Philip Andrew James Redfield. Whoa! Where the fuck did Kevin come from? Were you like Canadian royalty? <laughs> <laughs> Were you like Sir adopted? Philip Red James. Were you like adopted by a duke or something? That's like possible. That? Are your parents black? <laughs> yes. This is unbelievable. Is your dad a scientist? He's a pharmacist. Okay. So yes. <laughs> what pharmacist? This is amazing. Your dad and sells he's legal drugs. Uh, so. What man, does your mom do? This is just so. My dad's my so dad cool. Drugs. Yeah, my mom's a teacher. And, and it does. always bugged you. I can tell it, but obviously it bugged you. Do you well, do this because you have, like, your name bugs no, you? No, this is it has nothing. I just, I never like, like, kind of like what you said. Yeah. Growing up, I never liked the name Philip. Right. I just, I just never, ever did. 
Um, and like, I was never like cool or growing up or anything like that. It was weird. And I never, I had, like, feel like most kids, I had like an identity, like, issue. And I was like, where, where do I, I think fit we all, in? Uh, the whole point I made earlier is that everyone has an identity issue. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's just whether or not you're willing to admit it or not. And Kevin Swish is literally, um, <clears throat> I can alter ego that I created when mm-hmm. I was younger. And I was like, this is who I'm going to be. Like, mm-hmm. this is, I feel, I feel like at my better self, I'm more confident when I'm at Kevin Swish. And it came off as a joke or like people, and then it just came. And literally no one even calls me Philip anymore. Even the people who know my name. But you're still the same person. I'm still the same person. Yeah. But it's just. But like, it, had, it took it, a name to embody the person you wanted to be. Is that what yes. It? All right. That's exactly what it it's, is. It's the logistics, to, which are, switch. don't matter. It doesn't, but for it, him it did. For, di- for know, me it did. I, I don't look at it as an alter ego. I look at it as that's, that's, like that's Kevin. the ego Philip. that <laughs> you felt you were. <laughs> yeah. Or that I wanted to right. be. It's, it's fair. Maybe, you know, that was the, the, the catalyst that propelled you into your true self. Exactly. You know, was. like that, yeah. that the reality was that you always felt like you weren't who you you really were, you know, in a sense. That's and you, you didn't true. like it. You didn't like that. That you felt trapped in this other thing. And you just wanted to be you. And like this gave you the tools to be able to be you, right? I, this gave you the, this propelled you into you. Real talk, that's a hundred percent true. Like I grew up playing sports. I um you know I went I played baseball at school and I always was a jock. Like, I went, that's what I went to college for, is to play baseball. And I always felt like, I was like, I, I'm living a lot. Like, that's not what I wanted to do. But I felt like, you know, I also was like your friend Tyrone. Like, one of the right. few black kids. Right. In, like, a school of, like, white kids. And I was like, I have to be the quote-unquote black kid who plays yeah. sports. And that's what I'm good at. But. So, so what is it that you actually like to do? Like, but as I more became more comfortable with myself, and, like, as you're saying, like, with the whole Kevin Switch thing, long story short. I dropped my baseball scholarship and we got into acting. So awesome. All right. And got into music because I was like, this is what I really want to do. I don't want to yeah. live a lie right. of what I don't want to do. And at first, my parents were pissed at me. They're like, what? Like, school's getting, like, help paid for. And then now, they, they, they accepted it. They're like, you know what? They saw that I have talent in acting. I love music. And my parents are very supportive. I'm lucky to have that. So... Isn't that fucking awesome? Yeah, because be the, the way... it could have been terrible. You could have had parents that are like, "Are you fucking right. stupid? You're you have a scholarship. Things that kids all around the world would literally kill another human being for, and you play sport and you're in great shape and you're one black kid in your school. Why, <laughs> why don't you want to do that? But no, you have loving parents that recognize that you're you're pursuing something that most people will never get to do, right. which is their dreams. Most people will not do that for the sake of safety. So true, man. So you moved to an, great and not only did you, you move to another fucking country, a whole other country, New York City, which is you know, I guess it's kind of similar to Toronto, but still, it's not even on the same side of the planet, really. And you, no, I'm thinking of something else. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You <laughs> moved, is what I'm saying. Well, I lived, I lived in, I lived in Arizona for a bit, and I lived in Chicago for a bit too. Okay, weird. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing in Arizona? I lived there. That's where I went to high school. But... Okay. Yeah, it was. That's. Uh, still, I hate Arizona. It's pretty shitty. Isn't don't it? go don't to have, Arizona. We don't have time. For that, but, but yeah, man, I do awesome. think it's fucking badass. One, I think so, it's badass. Your parents, yeah, uh, were cool with that. The other badass thing about it was that that he struggled with the, the this kind of expression of himself. Like it's almost like when he identity. was a kid, or when he was younger in high school, he couldn't express his true self, right? And that suppression, that negative thing that happened, propelled him to search out a life in expression. Yeah, to search out a life. Doing music, acting, ex- human expression, human storytelling, Art. right? Like this bad thing that happened to this this kid in high school fucking became the greatest thing that's ever happened to him because it made him pursue the thing that he like really loved. It made Kevin Swiss. That's a Kevin fucking Swiss. beautiful story, man. Especially if you're a high school kid and you feel yeah. like it just isn't right. right. Like if you just uh, feel so like, true. God damn it, like this just doesn't yeah. feel like... I'm being myself where it feels like I'm trapped in this shitty box, like with these shitty people and they're <laughs> acting in a shitty way. And I don't even get to be who I am in it. 
Right. And like when you're in that, how could you not feel like what a terrible place? But the thing is, that is the very thing that's going to propel you into the greatest thing ever. Same thing happened to you. Yeah, man. And, for you, sure. and you waited much longer than Kevin I waited. I just waited longer. You're 26 when yeah. you did it. I was, yeah, man. I mean, I moved out when I was younger, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Like, it. uh, if, if you're, the if you're struggling, like. It might be the greatest thing that's ever happened to you. And, like, when you're in it, you're only going to think this is terrible. And you're only going to think, woe is me. This is so awful. Why can't I do what I want? Like, <laughs> And the reality is, like, in a lot of scenarios, myself and, and you included, that might be the best thing. That might be the pivotal moment in your life. So it, 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 just take a step back, embrace it, look at it, and fucking, re, like, see it for what it is. Just do it, man. Yeah. Make the jump. Be who you are. Be who you are. And it's going to be scary and as if, fuck at first. It really is. If you do is. that, it was, it's yeah. fucking rewarding, man. It feels great. Yep. Blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. Yep. Yeah, man. Kev, I need you to rap for us. Yeah. It's too good. And we weren't and <laughs> we you, weren't we weren't uh we weren't recording when you started. Do do uh, yeah, do something. Do anything. All right, cool. Like, all right. <clears throat> Do we got it? Do we? We want to send him into the booth. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time for that, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> no, but but All seriously, right. take take it. Well, take I a can, second. I could bust out some. Okay. Okay. Mob deep. Spit the same one from before. Are you giving Kevin a beat right now? <laughs> no. Give him a beat. Give Kevin a yeah, beat. Yeah, give Kevin a beat. Hold on, Kevin. What, what beat would you like? Is this good? Uh, let me see. Yo, if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. Okay. Mm. All right. Educate uh, us. Yeah. Let me get. Let me get. Let me out real quick. Okay. All right. You have like notes. Okay. Do it. Do get do whatever. Kevin searching for something to help him with my his phone. Rapping. Alec. What's going on, man? This ended up being fantastic. Yeah. See, I yeah, don't but... even know that you you Oh, here we go. Uh oh. This is from Eight Mile. Kev, I don't, wanna do the one from Eight Mile. Don't get <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the second most whitest thing you've ever said. Wait, I didn't even know what, what did you say. What did you say? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. It's the second most whitest thing you've ever said, God. What was the first one again? It's what was it? Pitbull. Hey, oh, yeah. We were talking about we were talking to Kevin about rap before we were recording. And, yeah. and, and of all rappers, Kyle's like, do you guys listen to Pitbull? Uh, and there was just a silence yo. and just a series of no. We, we oh my do not. God, dude. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. All right. No, no. Because, like, it, you ever see yourself for the stereotype that you are? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, my God. I'm that guy. <laughs> yo, no, no, no beat. I'm going to just, I'm going to speak something that's just true. This Whoa. is something I, like. Your cadence just totally changed. I'm going to just, I'm going to spit this. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to put on a little bravado. Yeah, you know? All right, yo. <clears throat> From Yesa Mass to the blast in our own brothers, leaving them in caskets like what the hell happened? Dr. Martin Luther King amassed the masses. Now it's like black folks took three steps backwards and I'm the first at fault. My verse is taught money, cars, clothes and a curse to cops. We exploit our race for profit. They take it out of context. Sex sales for record sales. So women are objects. We want reparations for the plantations. Yet fathers leave their children with no hesitation. Modern day slaves to our own situations. Whips and chains and surname variations. It still hurts. Just know your worth is far more than fighting over turf and dying in the dirt. And nigga is a word to keep us down. So you ain't my nigga, you my pal, and I'll make us proud. Damn. Are you, are you, are you that deep? Damn, I'm that man. deep. That was an entire social app. You gotta yeah. let that shit out. Dude, I'm where, where can we listen to your music? Because you have a YouTube channel? I see. I'm, I'm, currently, I'm currently building all that up. Dude, just do I'm it. I'm currently doing What's it. Not, you want to hear the best piece of advice? Tell just, me. Go. It's what it's what you just said. Just do it. Just fucking you gotta go, you gotta do it, and you it's just, not gonna be good. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not, gonna be shit. At it's first. Not, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna like that's great stuff, but you can't avoid it not being good. Like this is our our third episode. Yeah. This still sucks. It's not good. Not yet. It'll be funny. <laughs> yeah. Like it'll be funny later. Like yeah. like, like yeah. Well, later we're really when we good get, later when this will we be get fantastic. this figured out. Uh. Like it'll be great to come back and watch. Like oh look that was cute. They only had one video. Oh they're. Talking over each other all the time. All the time. Oh, one of them's <laughs> way too far away from the microphone. Oh, they're <laughs> like heavy. they're caught up on logistics right now, yeah. and the conversation is. Go- you know what I mean? Like yeah. we'll go back and and figure see that stuff, and it'll Process. be cute. 
And it's not that the it wasn't good. It's just we didn't have it refined. Right. Yeah. You've got this like beautiful talent that needs polished. Yeah, and you can't start polishing it until you start doing it. Yeah, man. Until you actually do it, it's just fucking yeah. this like, potential. Like it's whittling, potential like, that's sitting there. Like whittling away at a giant piece of marble. I, Eventually, you'll get something beautiful. And so people get coach, scared to start. Yeah. Because it's, they're because they're scared that it'll suck, and I'm here to tell you it will suck. <laughs> but it has I to know. suck before it, it gets to. better. It has to. It's ne- it's necessary. Yeah, you know. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's I great. Appreciate that. It's fucking great. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks. I want to hear this somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. I want uh I want you to come back on the show. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, in a month. Yeah. And I want you to have something to to show us to play for you guys. Yeah. Play. To we'll, 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 send you'll people. be the sponsor. We'll plug you. Yeah. Plug the shit out of your work. Love the DJ. Throw it on. Yep. Angelo over here. Yep. Angelo. DJ Angelo. D Angelo's. Yeah. Name. I D think D you should, man. I think D you should. One month. One month. Dude, that was amazing. Boom. Thank you guys for having me on. For sure. Gotta go do the work thing now. Go get it. See a peak. Go make it. that money. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, man. Are we continuing? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Gonna be, Take it's gonna be lonely without you. Love you, Big Red. Now get the fuck out. <laughs> I feel so like get great out. now. You are totally right. You feel great right now, don't I you? I feel so good. Yeah. I told you. I feel so great. Red nipples over here. Nobody Red understands, nipples. man. They don't get this it. This shit is modern day therapy. It really is. Talking to strangers is like old. It's the old way to do it. Talking to your friends in a public forum, that's the way to do it. I'm gonna change the chair. Am, am I fucking this up, Angela? No? All right. Yeah, it keeps on going down, but just it's all good. Um, but yeah, man, this is, I think this is the best thing you could possibly do for any sort of, not even artistic expression, but just like getting you. over yourself. For you. Removing that ego. And yeah. just like, oh, like I'm I, not uh, that special. I mean, I still, <laughs> I still say, like, I'm not doing this to have a lot of followers. Yeah, no, no. We if, get if, to have if awesome we do, conversations. If we do 500 episodes like and we still have two followers, I'm still going to do 501. Yeah, <laughs> this is still going to happen. Because it, it's fun. It's fun to do. It's. It, I, I think in life we don't have enough hobbies, and people don't do enough stuff that's fun. You need a craft. It's awesome when you see people doing shit that's just yeah. enjoyable. What are we doing this weekend, dude? We are getting our hunter safety license. We are. We're going to get our bow hunting. <laughs> we, are going, we are going. We are. Going <laughs> what, what, we are going to the Martin Luther King Center at in Which the Bronx. Kind of. Yeah. In the Bronx. In the Bronx. To the get, place I don't like going. To learn how <laughs> to shoot guns. Yeah. Animals is what we're hunting. And hunt, God. Not, not people, yeah. animals. See, now, before, I feel like we have to say this because a lot of people, it's, an, it's a bit of a knee-jerk reaction when you say you're going hunting. I, I experienced this this week. I told someone, a client, so yeah, I'm going to go get my hunting license. And they literally scowled at me. Yeah. Scowled. I was like, what was the, I asked them, I was like, why are you judging right now? Like, you're going to go, are you going to eat this animal? It's like, yeah, I'm doing this so I don't have to invest any more money into a system that is not only abusing the earth but animals farm fact uh factory farming that's yeah, just man. retarded well it's crazy on or, or, a lot of retarded, levels but... you know what i mean like i feel like anybody that judges a hunter fails even if they're yeah. vegetarian i feel i feel like they fail they obviously fail if they eat meat yes. at all because they're they're participating in a shitty yeah industry. every time you get a burger you're killing an animal well you're not well, here's the thing. And you're not we're participating still, we're in still that killing action. an animal. Yeah. Don't but, get it. Don't. It's but that's deeper not, than that. Yeah, that uh, what you're doing is not enslaving an animal. Yeah. Its entire life and abusing it by leaving it in a fucking tiny cage to live in its own shit. Yeah. For, for however many years until it gets fat enough that they murder it and eat it. Like, if you look at fucking that, dude, it is the darkest it's terrible. shit Ever they basically- and and it wouldn't exist if it weren't for you, the person that's giving me shit. Yeah, for We're going to change the system for taking our responsibility of of a predator in an ecosystem that if we didn't do it, we would we would uh, have diseased animals overpopulation. They would die from. Coyotes, wolves, cars. Eradication of species. Yeah. Taking a bullet or taking an arrow and a, on randomly 
without Noah, after living an entire life of being in the wild, being in, being free, being out there, and then going out, fucking beats living a lifetime of your own shit with a thousand other enslaved animals with not a single fucking moment of happiness. Yeah. Any day. And they're, and they're giving me shit about it. Yeah. You said a word in that. You said responsibility. And that's exactly what it is. We have a responsibility to not only care for the animals that we are using as a resource to keep us alive. We, we have a responsibility to care for them and to make sure we're not pushing a system that's just harmful for yeah. everybody involved. Angelo, look at this video. Um, go to YouTube. Uh, and I think it's called... <sighs> I think it's called Happy Cows yeah. or Dancing. Have you seen this one? No. Is it commercial? Dude. No, it's beautiful. Um, it's the third one. Yeah. Third one from the top. Up. Oh, right there. And then maybe zoom in or go in like a minute into it. So there's these. This is a video of these mm. cows that were, uh, I believe, the, the slaughterhouse like went bankrupt. Uh -huh. And uh, a group took the cows that had lived an entire life just to be in slaughtered. That, that so system. they lived in that situation. They never went outside. They never, like, saw the grass. They mm -hmm. never saw shit. Watch how fucking happy they are. So go a little bit further, Angelo. Maybe, like, to, like, the one... Right there, yeah, right yeah, there. right there's there. great. So, the, all right, so, so they're walking on this driveway. Right yeah, now. this is great. So they're releasing them into a field. Yeah. They've never fucking seen grass before. Look at this. Yeah, you can't tell me these creatures that are literally dancing, prancing, yeah. aren't hey, happy. These cows, look how happy they are, man. And and here's yeah, the I'm thing. Yeah, I'm getting shit the, for not producing, like for not... The like, system that l left them in a fucking uh, warehouse, a pen. a pen in their own shit, is the one that you're participating, you're feeding that. And you're paying for that. And it's not even just And you're pen. killing like, them. You're taking a creature. It's not even going on animals. So you're taking a living creature. You're leaving it in an encaged environment. A closed, dark encaged environment. And then you're injecting him with hormones and drugs to puff him up. So, And then you eat it. I, I don't want to live. I don't want to do that. Obviously, these animals are capable of, of, of being happy. Yeah. Because I'm seeing them be happy right now. I don't, I don't think anyone on the planet could see this video and be like, they're incapable of... of feeling good feelings yeah. because that's absolutely a good feeling there's it's undeniable yeah. those cows are fucking dancing basically they yeah. do what i've never seen a cow do that so if they're capable of that and you're even though you know that you know that cows are capable of a good feeling you're gonna not let them have that their entire lives not even for a second yeah. and make sure that they're as miserable Give as possible so that you can pay 2.99 a pound for hamburger and i'm gonna go out I'm going to fucking slave for a week. Yeah. We're not just sitting in a tent and waiting. We have in, to go and track in the freezing down freezing an cold and climbing up trees and sitting and trying to get one of these animals to come within 40 yards of us so that I could take one out With after it's lived an entire life of being in the wild. We're using bows. We're using bows. They only have a... Yeah. But we're going in the Hamptons. They're insane populated out there. <laughs> There's like the Hampton... Right? Yeah. Doesn't that feel a little it's, bit more fair? It's fair for the creature. It's more fair. It's going to be really hard. It's, it's not going to be easy. You saw That's the thing I realized. You saw that guy? How long do you think it's going to actually... Like, we're going hunting. It's going to take us maybe years. I feel like our odds of actually shooting a deer with a bow... Does Vuka make power bars? <sighs> Vuka, Vuka, if you make power bars for us on our hunting trips, $25, please, we will sponsor the shit out of you. <laughs> I will plug your shit for life. Forever. But yeah, man, it's so yeah, I got the knee jerk reaction from somebody who eats meat, by the way. And they're uh I was like, Do you not It's just a dumb person. Yeah. And he's it's, this really smart guy, which is crazy too. It's just a parrot. He's a really smart dumb person. There's there's a lot parroting of parroting liberal man. It's rah, rah, you're it's fucking rah. There's a lot of people that like don't think for themselves. They they hear things and they just pick one. And yeah. then they're like, Oh, well, that's how I think about it. I'm on team like A hunting. Yeah. yeah. One of my buddies was telling me how they, uh, him and his girlfriend went to this like really nice restaurant, mm. and they had venison on the menu as a special. And his girlfriend was like, "I am not dating you if you order that." Like, 
that to me is someone who just doesn't think. That's a child. Well, it's I, not I a get, child. I get where that person's but coming from. But they've come chosen on, not to think about a certain subject, and that's fine. But if you didn't think about it, wait, venison. Yeah, the deer. Deer. They wouldn't eat. Why? She was gonna be really you mad. Know what? When I know what I thought because when you said that. I eating... thought what's what's the baby cow one? What's that called? Oh, um, veal. Veal. I thought yeah. you said veal. No, I don't. I don't eat veal. No. So what the fuck is wrong with but her for venison? I mean, if you want, I don't like the idea. Yeah, I don't yeah. like the idea. Of you but either. anyway. Um, yeah, she, if she, if he ate deer, she was going to be really fucking pissed. But what if he got a burger? She'd be fine. Yeah, she'd be, that'd be fine. So that to me is like someone who doesn't want to think about a subject. Yeah. And that's fine because there's – how many things do I not think about? Like, yeah, me uh, and you both are very deficient in something. A, a lot. Things we don't even know. But if you don't know about something like and you haven't like thought about it, don't – push some idea so that you sound like you've thought about it yeah no you know what i mean and and the obvious answer is like oh you killed bambi that's somebody who doesn't think yeah you know that's 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 a programmed answer that's someone who looks yeah it's a parroted answer it's like it's just you see it a lot with religious people yeah who refuse to like investigate other things i think it's the same type of people that would really buy into religion it is the same type of people because they bought into something else they bought into whether it be or Republicans or liberals, like people, like humans, like choosing teams and just staying within that ideology. Because God forbid you think about something else, because that means change, and change is hard and scary. That's like scary. Kevin did, right. he changes everything. He was a star athlete who got a scholarship. It's like fuck it, I want to live my dreams. That's scary, man. And he moved to fucking New York City, one of the scariest places <laughs> in the world. And now he's doing it. He's happy as fuck. He is. That's he's cool, a great dude. guy. That's a cool thing too that you don't need. Like we don't need some notable person on the show no if you just talk to anyone there's a fucking thing. great story there yeah like you i'm know, sure if anyone. we got that girl in the elevator we were talking to her to come on yeah she would have said something fantastic i'm sure that she's very interesting and if you can get people to to open up and just be themselves we're all so fucking interesting pretty cool like it's not that anyone is like more or less interesting than anybody else it's it really boils down to what are you willing to show yeah and the, the people that are more willing to like show their freak flag and be exactly who they are, yeah. the more interesting they are. But there's actually, it's not like they're more experienced. Yeah. We've all had <laughs> awesome experience. You know, whether it was like in depression or, uh, you know, in yeah. pure ecstasy. Being different doesn't make you separate from the group. It makes you a part of a greater whole. And it makes you interesting to other people. Yeah. Like, I don't want... The worst thing in the world would be to have a guest that had the exact same experiences as me. That'd be the worst. I'd be like, like a twin yeah. who just did everything. Uh, like, oh, why are we get? I already know all this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing I can't gain from you. And I you would can't hate give. that person. You know, I I think there is something to that because I sometimes see a lot of myself in other people. Yeah. And I hate them. <laughs> is that what we're? Friends? I don't hate them, but like because we're totes different. Totes, we're so different. <laughs> I mean, it, it, there is one person in particular, and I'm not going to say their name, that I know, and it's like... Guy or girl. I'm not... Don't do that thing where you're <laughs> trying to figure it out. I'm not sure. I'm but I'm so like them that I almost can't stand being around them. Weird. And it's not like I am mad at them. I you, just don't like talking to them. I just don't like being around them. You can't like... <sighs> I'm surprised because most people are like, oh, now we get along. You would we, think, right? Yeah. It would seem like the obvious thing. I don't know what it is. Dude, maybe it's that same shit that, that made Hitler hate the Jews. Because he was Jewish. I heard that. Because he was like half Jewish. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah, he wasn't even, his whole thing was uh, Aryan nation, the yeah. pure blood, and the he was blonde the hair. He, yeah, he was very short, kind of right. fat, had a goofy mustache. What is that? That's insecurity. You know what he is? It's weird. Hitler is exactly what the opposite of, like, say, Kevin. Yeah. Hitler's dreams were to be an artist. Really? Yeah. He was in art school in in Austria in Austria before mm-hmm. all that, and he just wasn't that good. And the teacher told him that, and he fucking left. He didn't pursue it. He didn't keep chiseling away at that statue. Do you think that's what he really wanted to do? Absolutely, because like, he still if, painted. If we could bring Hitler back. Oh yeah. And. We gave him a choice. Your dude was an artist. You could be one of the most powerful men that's ever lived. 
or an artist. But the thing is, he could have taken that same energy and charisma, uh, charisma to yeah. art. Yeah. He just used it, the same energy that he could have put over there, turned it to rage, and then became a fantastic world leader until, you know, crazy <laughs> things started going down. He was a great leader. Fantastic. Not in the sense Not of in a good way. Support. Not the things he was doing was good. That's not what I mean. But fantastic. But you mean in the ability to have a lot of people follow you. He got a country out of a depression. He got people supporting him, which is like great speeches. He was apparently, he was very articulate. Well, I mean, he got a lot of people to do really bad things. Yeah. That's a fucking hard thing to do, right? Yeah. That's pretty, it's it has to be pretty convincing to do that. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. Like, so he didn't pursue his dreams. Like you still look, you look online and see his paintings because huh. he still painted even when he was. It's weird, man. Yeah. That dude just didn't pursue so the dream. So what about you, man? You're 21. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh man. What's, what's life? question right you need can you be honest um, well i mean you're 21 so like what are you thinking where's your head at now and I'll, I'll go ahead and and probably suggest that you probably are wrong <laughs> <laughs> but but i'm definitely interested to know like what you think or well, what you think you're gonna be or what you think you want to do what you think is gonna make you the most happy i think i don't know if i have necessarily like a real goal oh no real like wh- want to go down this road but what I do have is I, I have uh, certain goals that I need to experience. Like I have experience, like a list of experiences that I need to do. Really? I just need to know what it's like to do these things. You wrote it down? Yeah. Cool. It's in my house. Cool. It's like one, I want to work on a fishing boat for like right. a couple months and just do that. Apparently they, uh, they'll they take anybody. Right. It's, yeah. So, and it's a crazy experience. Like I'll get. <laughs> Where be, you'll die. Like very good. I very well could die. Okay. What's two? Two. Uh, I need to do a fight. Okay. Yeah. Either a mixed have martial. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. Why do you need to do another fight? Like a like a sanctioned like not oh, a real the, fight like a sanctioned fight. Okay. I want to do because there's a whole training process and it's it's a hard just because it's a hard thing to do. And yeah. I grew up doing martial arts and my brother does it for a living. Right. I just I was too scared to cross that barrier, so now I need to. Okay. And um, I need to try. I need to like I just want to go to, like a random country for a while and just do whatever. That's the third. The third one's kind of ambiguous. I haven't quite figured it out yet. The third but, one's like live in a different culture. Yeah, like in, embrace another culture pretty much. Yeah, immerse yourself in it. Yeah, I don't, I mean, as much as I like the idea of being a trainer, I just, I hate mundaneness. Like, right. I hate the idea of doing the same thing. Like, And it's, it is a good profession because you are helping people, but it's not quite my bag. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd rather just go to a totally different place with a camera, figure some shit out. The real trick is uh, no lifting. I like that too. Like, in, and being, people aren't willing to be poor. Mm. I think that's part of the th- the problem too. Like it doesn't take that much money to live. Like if you if you're really thinking about like yeah. just if you just need to live, like to, the cheapest apartment you can find that has water, a shitter, you know, like it's not that bad. I mean, I've met and you're willing you're willing to eat very cheap food yeah. and not do anything fun. <laughs> you can you stretch that. Yeah, you know, but I think. That's a really tricky thing for people to do yeah. because they don't really want to do it. You it's, know what I mean? Like it, 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 it requires a lot of sacrifice. The comfortable thing for me to do is is to hang out with you and my uncle and Dan right. Trank, people like that, become a really good trainer, right. make money, right. and, and, and invest in a company maybe and, right. and a gym, and I'll be okay. Right. I could do that, and right. it would be fun, and I can make money, and I'd be doing things I kind of like, but mm-hmm. ah, it's not my life. It's not right. Not, not for me. Yeah, man. I mean, I'd like to work... If I were to work for a gym, I couldn't be like personal training. I would have to like just be at an O lifting gym and just do that. Well, and I think another mistake that that I made when I was your age is yeah. thinking you have to have the answer for the rest of your life now. Yeah, you need to know what you need to do now, right now. Like, what do you want to do now this year? Or not even this year, but like right now, what's going to make you the most happy? Yeah. And do that. Well, this and then whatever. yeah, and then when you get to the next thing. Or you you find yourself not so happy with what you're doing, then you do what's best for you now. Yeah. But we tend to like think that we have to fucking plan our whole lives. Yeah. Like that we have to plan thirty years down the road. That's you don't what know taught, what though. you're thinking. It's the whole system. You don't know where your head's gonna be. We at should in not 30 let years. eighteen year olds choose no. their career path it's for the like, rest of their life. It's like life. the name thing. Yeah. How do you know if you're gonna like this in five yeah. years? Even if you love it now. You know what I thought I was gonna do at fifteen? I'm going to be an astrophysicist. I thought that. I'm going to work on rockets and, and go to what? space. Yeah, I thought. In the world made you think that that's what you wanted to do. Because someone in my family did it. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. So, and so I was like, oh, it's what I wanted well, to do. Well, that's not really what you wanted to do. What you did, not, you I admired thought. them doing it. Right. So because that's, there's a difference. I see what you're saying. There's a lot of things that I admire and I think are fucking amazing, but I don't want to actually oh, do it. I, I watched, know you know, those skydivers flying through that fucking building. You don't want to do that? Did you see that shit? Yeah, the raccoon Nothing suits. about me wants to do that. You don't? Nothing. You don't want to do that? Nothing. Nothing. It looks tempting. I watched Nitro Circus. Amazing. Loved it. <laughs> nothing about me wants to do that. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I would love, would I would go, go watch them. No. I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're- You know what I mean? Like, I I, I admire it. I think it's really great. Uh-huh. But I don't actually want to do it. Like, it, the only reason I would even possibly want to do it is if I was deluded to the fact that people would think I was cooler if I did it. And that's not a good enough reason for me to do it. That means I don't really want to do it. It just means I want more love from people. So if I'm like getting a selfish thing, it'd be a fucking ego thing. Yeah. You know? So like if, if I don't actually want to do it, like I'm not, Mm. I don't want to. And what you do, it was, it was awesome about what you just said is like, if people probably some people for, let's say nitro service were to see what you do daily or maybe what I do throwing weights. Yeah. It might be hundreds of pounds over your head. Maybe a lot of people wouldn't want to do that. Oh yeah, they Fun. wouldn't want to do it. But what I was gonna say is, they might think it's cool. They would, you know what they I mean? would admire like, it. Just like I think it's really cool yeah, yeah. what they do. But, they wouldn't but I don't want to do it. No, no. They might be like, "Wow, that's really cool." Because I train. No bit of me wants to do that last at all. Week, you fucking, and that's cool. He dropped a fucking. What was it? I almost died last week. He, almost, he literally almost died in training. He dropped a fucking barbell that had what two hundred twenty five pounds. Flip around that mic and yeah, get man. in on this shit. No, <laughs> we're gonna blast you in the internet. Come on, dude. Make you say things Sit you can't here. take Sit back. Over here, bro. No, Angela. Angela's got a lot to lose. Okay. He's he's a job. Yeah. He's a boss. I guess that's fair. We don't really have that. But yeah, I mean, like that's the, the best down. thing I've ever done is uh, not have a boss. Like that's like nice. officially, I don't have a boss. Officially, you know, I I'm a contracted employee by this gym. Uh, I don't actually have an employer. Yeah. You know, um, I do a job. I you build a relationship. You are the job. You are the boss. Yeah, you ultimately. Go. You know, like I, I, it's, yeah, I carry weight in my position. Meaning, like, if I, I could leave and still have my business, I could, you know, I have, I have negotiating power. And that's important for everybody to do. The worst thing I've seen is, is I, I saw, I was talking to my dad and mom and realized that, like, you know, my mom's a nurse. My dad was an engineer for Toyota. And, They both did what they were supposed to do, which was get tricked into a job where you can be easily replaced. You know what I mean? It's like there was almost an entire generation that was told, go work for this company, learn the system, you do it exactly this way, everybody does it the same way, and if you do that right, we'll take care of you. Well, the trick was you get older, you start... You start getting paid more, but you have a job that could be done by someone who just came out of school. Or a robot. Or a robot. Right. There's no art to the job. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a stand. This is the way you do it. This is a standard job. Cutter. So all you have to do is teach somebody else to do that, and you have For a new employee money. that gets paid half as much. Yeah. So when you have incentives like that, it's, I, I'm not even blaming, like, Toyota. Yeah, no. I'm just saying this that's what happens. Yeah. Like, if you get really – you become a really big company, the job is to, like – Make a lot of money and not spend a lot of money. Oh. And if that's the goal, then of course you're going to like try to pay people less. You know, that's just, we have a bad incentive structure. We have a bad model. Yeah. It's not bad people. It's not bad companies. We just need to change the incentives. Did your dad still work for them? No. Retired? Yep. <laughs> He's done. But, um, it's it sucks, man. And like I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna make that same mistake. Yeah. Don't do it. Angelo, same with you. Don't let I mean, ultimately keep make your job an art form. Yeah. You know, I say this all the time. The yeah, difference the difference between science and art is that somebody else can do the science. So if you make a scientific <laughs> discovery and you don't or if, if there's a scientific discovery to be made, if you don't discover it, Somebody else will. If there's a painting that you need to paint, if you don't paint it, yeah. no one will ever paint it. It will never exist. 
You're the only person in the world in this moment that can do this job, which means that your job is an art form. Yeah. Make that, your job an art form. That goes back to what we were saying before with getting removing the fear of pursuing that thing. You're going to suck for a really fucking long time. That whole 10,000 hours thing, it's real. Yeah. You might suck for like 10 years. Yeah. But you break on through, like you, you keep, like look at stand-up comedians, for example. They all start when they're like fucking 18, 20s. And we never hear about them until they're in their 40s when they actually have gotten some experiences and they're now able to convey points or stories hilariously. Dude, Louis C.K., Bill so Burr, true. Joe Rogan. None of them got huge until they're in their 40s because they kept pursuing their art form. No one else could say things like those people could say things. Dude, I love, I love watching awesome people when yeah. they were first starting Yeah, because they're always bad. Yeah, they're, and it it makes you realize, oh fuck, like it's okay to be that, bad. That's me, yeah. It's all right. It's totally okay it's to be a, bad. But the most important, you know, what they do have a, in common is, though, they're doing it and they're doing it early. They're up. They're they're getting the shitty part out of the, out of way, the way as early as possible. That's the best way to do things. That's the way to do it. Like man. right now, like, I need to find something. Kev kill doesn't it. need to wait at all. He needs no. to like go do it now. Start. He's already and good. Just release it. Kind of. Just like do do it on fucking Garage Band. And do it and put it out and then free beats. start start going to the next one. Yeah. And just say, well, there's a first. That's going to suck. Here Crank comes the out. second. The second one's going to be a little better. By 500, he should be a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, you know, but the point is eventually you are. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it's 500 or five, but you are at some point the, along that line. And you have to get the first few out of the way. There's a, there's a quote from a, a show on Cartoon Network called Adventure Time. And the quote is... the, the <laughs> Sucking at something is the first step to being somewhat good at something. Yeah. Yeah, man. And it's like, yeah, you sure. got to suck. I just started skateboarding like six months ago, and I fucking suck right now. But if I keep doing this like 10 years from now, I'll be pretty good. When I'm 30, yeah, I'll, exactly. I'll be a if pretty, keep great, doing I'll be a pretty yeah. great skateboarder. Yeah. And just only for fun. This is just a hobby, so I can get around faster. But yeah, for sure. Simple shit, man. Just fucking practice. And that's the trick. Like, keep doing that stuff, the stuff that you have fun with. Because you'll likely get through the the hours, the plateaus, and the downs. it's the only way to get through it. Yeah. Like to get through ten thousand hours of something you hate is impossible. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, and that's why he quit. And, and here's the thing: if you get to like a thousand, <sighs> and you're like, "This <sighs> is the worst thing ever," <laughs> maybe you're not quite right. You know what I mean? Like I, and that's true with me. Like I thought I really enjoyed acting. Right? Yeah. Did, I, did I tell the story before? No. Okay, so I moved to New York model that was easy that was, that was just to make money but i wanted to act too and i did honestly really enjoy it i i found an awesome teacher and when i would leave class i would feel like i just did a podcast mm. but there was an aspect to it that i didn't like which was which was the industry itself mm. like the jobs blow the fact that you go in and you're in a room with 30 other people that look exactly like you and there's no actual difference between what all are you going to no do substance. and it's just a, a trivial decision by some dude that's like ah, yeah that's the one uh, you you have no control over that process and you tend to get really insecure people because you have 30 people all doing their version of it and if they don't get it they think they did it wrong or they think they're bad. Oh. So then they are like, I need a new jacket. I need a new haircut. I need to wear stubble on my face. Is that what happened to you? I, you yes. That way? You start to be like you start to look at yourself well, in the mirror and you're like, you you're like what the fuck is wrong with me, man? Um, I like that I couldn't like grow stubble, that I had like a weird shaped head or big ears or like my voice was weird. Like I started like questioning all my stuff. I get really I get so stressed that I'd start getting zits. I, you know, it would, and, and you start to like start hating yourself because you're constantly thinking I'm doing it wrong because you're constantly auditioning and you're not getting that job when it's like this trivial thing. And until I went to one audition and I left and they were like, good luck. And I was like, oh, fuck. It's fucking luck. Yeah. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> I've been doing all this all along, and I'm like, it's fucking luck. It's up to nothing. L yeah, exactly. It's up to nothing I wasn't to doing it job. wrong. I was doing it right. It's just the industry that blows. I'm just like, and it was this big realization that like, 
I almost figured it out. Ugh. And I put a lot of work into acting, man. Thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars in acting. And um, it it wasn't quite right. But like, it seems like with this podcast thing, yeah. it's closer. This feels better. Getting, I get to be myself yeah. the same way I kind of got to express myself through like these and, acting and, roles. But it's like I have control over it. Yeah. I don't have a boss. I don't have this like you're either – uh, you either fit into this notch, this one of thirty chance, or not. Yeah. I can. I, I just come in every week, and we get to fucking do this, and I get to put express who I am yeah. and share it. It's great. And how this happened? I think how this happened is also a representation of that like the fact that we're podcasting together. Like that's have you ever like I thought back and analyzed that uh, because I was thinking about it, like this week. I was like, it's so fucking weird that that happened because me and you we're nothing alike for the most part. We come from very different places. Just weird stories, and then randomly we hung out maybe once, and it was only because my uncle was there. Mm-hmm. You're friends with my uncle, mm-hmm. and it was uh, I think it was whose birthday was it? Oh man, I don't know. My well, uncle, oh, it was my uncle's birthday. Wait, was this the uh, yeah, when, we, when we went to we, Brooklyn? We, yeah, when we no, when we adopted that white girl, it's Ram. Yeah, that was your birthday. That was your birthday. Was it my birthday? Yep, my brother was oh, there too. Okay. Yeah, your brother. Was, I guess yep. okay, it was my birthday. I forgot. Yeah, man. Was I, tw- I was twenty one? I was twenty one. That's what it was. I don't remember it. We started hanging out after that. There's vine evidence of this. Find it. Um, there is vine evidence of this. Yeah. The point is, we hung out for like what? We talking because we just happened to be sitting next to each other. We were yeah. talking, and I was like, "Hey, man, do you listen to podcasts?" Right. And you're like, "Oh yeah, I listen to this one." I was like, "What?" Yeah. I took your phone and I put like thirty. Yeah. I put like thirty Fucking different. St- it. I put a bunch. And ever since then, all we do is talk about podcasts now and how we love the, the wealth of information, the artistic expression. Well, I think and it's randomly, done a lot for both of us. It has. It's, like when we discovered it, we were like, wow. Like, it expanded this is, our this minds. Is, this is giving us whole different viewpoints. Yeah. This is really powerful stuff. It's better than college. I'm learning more from podcasts in college. I mean, I feel like I am getting in, like information injections yeah. daily. Five, Five minutes. minutes. But the point is what I'm saying is, is it's just – through just a random artistic why is that great right. things happen we, we all found we ended up kind of and then one crazy. day we were like you want to make one yeah you know you came to me you were like hey let's i have this it. idea here's the name let's work with it and i was like all right and then i made all the the accounts and all that and we we're just like fuck it now we're fucking third weekend got the greatest producer ever over here <laughs> yeah ever he's got a mohawk mo- i was just gonna say he's got a okay look at that we're on the same we're on the we same one i might I start hating love you. you man i love you too buddy. i'm glad we're friends i'm glad we have the show Every week, you might yeah. be my new best friend. We might we might end up being best friends. Like you're not yet. Like you're you're up there though. If we do this for like three years. You're like you're like top five for sure. I'm gonna get closer but to you than if Mellis. we fucking keep doing this show, <laughs> like for years. Yeah, I'll know you better than your wife. I know. She but, would never listen to the show either. She's not gonna. She would never talk to me like this. She'll listen to this when like we have like a corporate sponsor. Right. She'll check out one. Right. Like Amazon sponsoring I us. I Amazon.com. You hear that, Amazon? Hey. You know how cheap this would be for you? Hey, man, you know what? We'll I'd do wear Amazon.com sticker on we, my head. We do on our website through squarespace.com. We will have a banner for them. You just click through. People will buy through it, and then yeah, that's how that works, right? That's another podcast. All right. All right. Guys, great episode. Kevin Swish. Check him out. Alec, Kyle, Meathead on Mushrooms. Real bitches. Love you. See you next week. Mwah.